Once again at another contest at uh, the Halloween Bowl, the 1999 Halloween Bowl, uh, featuring the best of the sixth graders in the Little League. Uh, right now we're having a coin toss, and let's see if I can get the officials here for you. They have a beautiful program here. Um, evidently the cost went, let's see what the official says. Deferred. The yellow team deferred, green team will receive. They will defend the, what would that be, the west goal, east goal. And also some of the rules here are they have um, 10 minute quarters, two minutes between the quarters, and 10 minute halftime. And the players will be identified as follows. 95 pound and less, they don't have a stripe on their helmet. I don't know if we could pick up a helmet or not, but we probably should have had one out there. And no stripe is allowed to advance the ball and play all positions. Okay, 95 pounds to 110 pounds, one stripe. They must play tackle to defensive, to tackle to tackle, offense, ends, or linebacker. And over 110 pounds, two stripes, must play tackle to tackle, maximum of three on the field at one time. So that kind of evens it out and makes it a little more fair for the kids even though you do see these big tackles knocking, sitting on these 95 pounders, we get some kids out here that I see some weights here that's going up to 215. Wow. Uh, we got a kid here named um, Josh Newsom, 215. Remember, these are all sixth graders. And the other team, the biggest one is a 200 pounder. That would be uh, Nathan Clifton. Uh, pulling guards must be no stripers only. So if you're a pulling guard, you can't get to have a helmet without a stripe on it. And so um, they don't have kickoffs, uh, punts. There, I see there will be no kickoffs. Play will be begin at the 40-yard line. If there gets a fourth down situation, and you want to punt, it may be called for, and the ball will be advanced 20 yards to the, to the other team. Punts are not allowed inside the opponent's 40-yard line. Only one strike player may advance a fumble. Okay, I got that wrong. Only no strike players may advance a fumble. As we pick up some of the cheerleaders coming across, we probably will have uh, them do some skits at halftime. Um, interceptions can only be advanced by players with no stripes. So the no stripes get all the action as far as running and carrying and throwing the ball and it would be no toleration at all of any unsportsmanlike conduct. They do go by the Ohio High School Athletic Association rules. So that pretty much sums it up. I give you a rundown on the league. They had uh, five teams this year. A team called the Eagles went 4-0. The Panthers were 3-1. The Redskins were 2-2. Two two. The Bears were 1-3. And the Lions were 0-4. And, 4. and uh, we'll try to get you some names of some of the cheerleaders while we're waiting for it. we got two minutes to go before the game starts. I hear the kids getting really pumped up down there. Let's see what we got here. they got a bunch of cheerleaders. i got a feeling they'll say their names when they uh, do their cheers. Uh, the advisors, cheerleading advisors, are uh, Teresa Buchanan. She's been with them for quite a while. Cindy Sexton and Linda uh -oh. DiFilippo. Does that sound right, Carl? Yeah. Okay, DiFilippo. I think we've heard that name before. Yeah. And we also have uh, Cheryl Anders and uh, Susie Bailey, advisors. And the coaches for the um, for the events tonight are um, for the green team we have Spence Gibson, Rob Reese, Randy Forson, 
Clayton Burke, Chris Clark, Daryl Pruitt, Dusty Miller, and Scott Powell. And for the gold team, which I called yellow a while ago, I guess he preferred to be called gold, is Joe Sexton, John Henry, Ben Gaston, Jason Cunningham, Mike Martin, Tim Faulkner, Roy Kelly, and Travis Butts. So we got about 42 seconds before game time starts. We got a fairly decent crowd. Uh, being where we're at, it's kind of hard to get both uh, both crowds. That better. We're good. What you hear me say, it's better. We're just getting adjusted to this press box. We're used to that uh, multi-million dollar press box there at London, and uh, the cheerleaders are doing something else. Here. This, this is the uh, Panthers. <laughs> I didn't get the name of the others. I'm sure they'll do something in halftime, probably. Like I said before. And if I repeat myself a lot, it's only natural because I don't know anything else to say. <laughs> Can't be any more honest than that, can I? 1999 Halloween Bowl. Uh, did we have the red team come over and do it here? Yeah. Okay. Or the uh, cheerleaders for the other team. Number eight, in case you can't hear it, was Jed Coley. Number ten, Ronald Manson. Next player is Ronald Van Sickle. It's number 10 for the green team. Number 11, Ross Fordyce. Ross Fordyce. I would have pronounced that right. <laughs> if you see the spelling, you would have understood. I wouldn't have. Number 12, Jarek Abbott. Jarek Abbott wearing number 12. He's a 69-pounder. Check the stripes. Jeremy Long, number 21. He's seven. Weight that comes in at 75 pounds. He's a no-striper. Scott Kroll, number 24. He's a 90-pounder. Jamise Richendauer. Richendauer. Is that a girl, Carl? Jamise sounds like a, well, I ain't going to say, but anyway, uh, 60, 160 pounds. Justin Newsom, number 60. He's a 104 pounder. We're getting into the single stripes now. Number 61, Stuart Allen. Stuart Allen, 105 pounder. Number 66, Tony Dennison Jr. Tony Dennison Jr., number 66. He comes in at 135 pounds. And remember, these kids are all sixth graders. Number 69, Aaron Reese. Aaron Reese, number 69, 108 pounds. Doesn't give a position they play. Number 70, Casey Harding. Casey Harding, number 70. He's an injured player. He's got, he got him listed at 116 pounds, but he doesn't look like he's that big. He must be solid. Lucas Gladman, 72, coming in at 118 pounds. He's coming across like he's going. Mike Zimmerman, 135, 139 pounds, number 73. Number 76, Josh Newsom. Josh Newsom, 76. 215 pounds. Pretty good sized young man for a sixth grader. Will Longsdorf, 77, with his black socks, 
107 pounds, soaking wet. Brandon Fields. Brandon Fields, number 78, 187 pounds. Number 80, Joshua Puckett. Joshua Puckett, number 80. He's coming in at 73 pounds. Number 83, Jacob Omelay. Omelay, Jacob Omelay, number 83, 79 pounds. And now for the gold team. You can hear that laugh, but they're right underneath of us. Trevor Evans, number nine, 84 pounds. Number 22, Mike Svoboda. Mike Svoboda, number 22, 65 pounds. Dustin Redding, number 30, 84 pounds. Number 40, Randy James. Randy James, number 40, he's an 86 pounder. Number 42, Michael Roman. Michael Roman, number 42, 82 pounder. Looks like he might have a little number speed. 43, Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush, 75, 79 pounder. He's also on the injured reserves, I guess. Douglas Swaphammer, number 99, number 44, 99 pounds. Samuel Montrose, 45, 81 pounder. Number 48, Blake Gosser. Blake Gosser will be wearing number 48. He's 110 pounds. Number 52, Dana Wood. Dana Wood, 52, 105 pounder. Number 54, Jason Duffy. Jason Duffy, number 54, 106 pounds. He gets the stripe on his helmet. Number 55, Zachary Harrell. Zachary Harrell, number 55, 102 in weight. Number 61, Tyler Steyer. Tyler Steyer, 61. Comes in at 120. Number 63, Brian Gray. Brian Gray, number 63, 115 pounds. Number 65, Matthew Riley. Matthew Riley, number 65, 110 pounds. Number 68, George Nybert. George Nybert, number 68, 121 pounds. Looks like a runner, Carl. Number 76, Joshua Borders. Joshua Borders, number 76, 102 pounds. Number 78, Nathan Clifton. Nathan Clifton, number 78, 200 pounds, Nathan Clifton. Number 79, Kenneth White. Kenneth White, number 79, 138 pounds. Mm. Number 81, Zach Gosser. Zach Gosser, number 81, 89 pounder. Number 80, Chaz Stevens. Chaz Stevens, number 88. Comes in at 94 pounds. And there you have both teams. Let's get ready to rumble. Coming out of the gold corner will be the gold team. <laughs> Coming out of the green corner will be the green team as we get ready for the national anthem.
off here. Um, the light on, Gary? Huh? The light on? No. Don't touch it. Must have moved on us. We are live, right? Yeah. Okay, we're live. Had Keith Smith joining me in the press box here. Hi, Gary. Good to be here tonight. I'm what glad a you're here. evening for football out here. That's great. Keith will probably be doing most of the most of the talking. So, um, but he's. Uh, what is your position with this with this uh, group well, here? Actually, Gary, I'm the president of the London Area Boys Football League. I'm real proud tonight for these young kids. I mean, they've worked hard all year. And just so everybody knows, this is a uh, graduation party for the sixth grade kids in our program. It's a chance for them to come out, play on a high school football field, and showcase their talents in front of everybody on this fine Saturday night at the end of October. We call it the Halloween Bowl, Gary. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better night either. I think the last time, didn't we have a little rain the last time? Oh, it always seems like it rains a little, Gary. But... <laughs> I'll tell you what, we had this two years ago down here at Madison Plains, and it was a beautiful night, too. So we'd like to thank the people from Madison Plains for being very gracious hosts this evening. Yeah, got the scoreboard lit up, Madison Plains sporting their new track. Got a nice crowd on both sides. Um, I'm hoping the cheerleaders are going to do something at halftime. I oh, reckon. yeah, we'll, we'll uh, be getting the cheerleaders at halftime. Uh, right now we're going to focus on the football game. Looks like the uh, what we've done is divide the teams up. And looks like the green team, which comprises of two of our teams, is going to uh, have the ball first. And like you said, they start out at the 40-yard line. There's no kickoffs. Yeah, we don't have any kickoffs in this league. And we got a flag on the first play. Looks like, uh, looks like maybe the left-hand side of the line might have jumped there. a little bit. These kids are a little bit nervous. It's a big night for them getting to play out on the a, on a, on a, on a high school field. and. Uh, in the lights in front of such a large crowd. So that's a five-yard penalty there, right off the bat. The uh, green team should have under center a quarterback, number eight, Jed Coley. Jed's been a quarterback for the past two years for the Lions in our program. He throws the ball pretty good. We'll try to catch some of the other numbers of some of the other athletes as we go here. He hands That's off Jerry to number Cabin. 12, Jerry Cabin. He's got Jerry some Cabin. room. He's picking up. He's got first down. And like oh. I did, got material, number 81. Nice tackle by number 81, Zach Gosser. Zach Gosser in on that tackle that time. That was speed versus speed right there. That's that's probably one of the uh, things about tonight's game that will make it special. We've got some kids playing that are extremely fast. Can pick them up and put them down, huh? Number 12, Jerry a Jarek Abbott, who will be going to Madison Plains. He uh, he can fly. He is a he is a burner. Looks like number eight Coley's under center. Abbott's out to the wing now. Fullback looks like Crawl. That's another kid that can fly. Jeremy Le Long. He's around the left hand side. He's headed down the way. Huh? Oh, we're gonna have a little excitement here tonight. Number number 81 Zach Gosser just made another wonderful tackle. Some of our past games uh, seemed like it was paid play between the uh, 30s, but it looked like we got going to have some action here tonight. Uh, very true, Gary. Normally defense does dominate an all-star game. These kids have only had about four nights of practice, actually three nights of practice, get ready for this game. Coley under center. Come out in the power eye, hand off to number Around 12. Around the right hand side, that's Jarek Abbott and again. He's a nice his move. Way through and he's going Looks to go like Abbott's going to the house with that one, Gary. Abbott, touchdown, green team. Well, I never quite thought this would start out quite as explosive, but we've got some great athletes on both these teams. Looks like we got a penalty flag down there. Looks like Which a push. Probably nullify. Uh, block in the, looks like a block in the back. So I think we're going to call that one back. Which is usually, that's just normal. I was so glad to see I'm going to get a plug for London. Went undefeated last night in the league. I was and at the ball first game last night. game we've had, or undefeated team we've had for quite a while. Uh, so, quite, a, uh, quite a few of the kids playing uh, last night for London on their undefeated team came out of this particular program right, right here. That's right. You'll notice on the field, Gary, there's certain stripes on some players' helmets that designate certain size players, and we'll get into that a little bit. We divide up the kids as far as sizes, and that dictates what position they might be able to play. And I got a little story for you about that a little bit later on. Okay. So. 
I'm waiting to line up in a pro eye once again, wide out to the left. That's Abbott to the left, Abbott off to the left, side off tackle, like you yeah, said. He's, by looks like he's brought down by number 65. Run it down here, right quick. Matthew That's uh, Matthew Riley. Matthew Riley also looked like Josh Newsom was in there on the tackle Josh too. Number 78 on the gold team. Well, that was Nathan Clifton. I'm Nathan sorry. Clifton, okay. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Same pro eye formation. A Jeremy Long going left. Oh, and Clifton. he is killed oh. by number 76. Wow. Good Lord. I think, was, borders. I think that was I think that was 78. Nathan yeah, Clifton. 78. On that Nathan tackle. Clifton. Clifton's one Nathan of the bigger Clifton. kids in our program, oh, and uh, 200 pounder. He has a lot of fun playing in this program. I reckon he does. <laughs> Gee, how shortly ago the. Uh, Green team was going in for a score, and now they've got the ball on, on the uh, gold team 30 yards. Third line. and 23. Third and 23, big play here. Let's see. These teams have had a chance to put a, uh, they have a, a few game tricky running. plays in. Old Coley can throw the ball very good. That's good. Got a receiver out to the left. A little mix up Looks in the like back. Old Coley the keeps the ball and rolls. And oh. Taken down hard by. Give me some numbers, Carl. Boy, it's hard to pick up those number numbers. Number 69. Number 69. Maybe it's 90. 60. 68, George, George Nyberg is in the tackle. We don't have a 69 on here. Last year, last year, George ran the football. He was under 95 pounds. That's part of our weight classifications. <laughs> Over this past school year, George grew from 94 pounds to 125 pounds. So now he's a lineman. Yeah. He got about four inches taller. And this too. is good because they get to learn, learn both positions. And they basically, it's good for them to get to learn the line and know what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And appreciate what those linemen do for you when you do go back in the backfield. Coley's back to pass. And it's there. He's looking out. Wow. There's Jerry Abbott, number 12. Number 12, He's Abbott. He's going in scoring. for a touchdown. That pass was thrown between three defenders right on the money. Jed Coley put that ball right on the numbers. We have another Zach Dobmar out here. Where's he going? Uh, that's Madison Plains, the fella there. Both of them. Kolick and Abbott. So wow. you might be able to look forward to that combination in the, in the future. The teams have an opportunity here to go for either a two-point from conversion from the five-yard line or a one-point conversion from the hash mark. Looks like the green teams opted to go for the one-point conversion. Power eye, Coley under center, Abbott's in the backfield. Look for him. He's headed off tackle left. Nothing doing. Smothered. Completely Abbott smothered. So we have it with 4.52 to go in the first quarter. We have a score of, there's no score up there, but we have a score of six to nothing. Green team, Green in, team the in the lead. Right? And like we say, we play uh, 10 minute quarters. Uh, we'll be playing eight minute quarters We're tonight, play eight tonight. We're playing a regular clock. Oh, okay. We play uh, 10 minute quarters during the regular and season. And the clock keep running? It's a continuous clock. Okay. Uh, Let me go over some of our special rules, Gary, while we have a chance here. 95 pounds and less, you're able to advance the ball and play all the positions on the field. You got one stripe on your helmet. That puts you between 95 pounds and 110. Must play tackle to tackle, defensive end or linebacker. So defense normally dominates our games because a lot of the bigger kids are playing defense. Randy James should be under center for the gold team. Is that relation to Rusty James? Uh, I believe it might be Rusty James' little brother. Yeah. Both Both them doing it. Tom got a loss of about four yards on that play. Number 78 was on, on the That'd tackle. Brandon that. Fields out Brandon there. Brandon Fields. <coughs> and he comes off the field. He must be uh, somebody who runs the plays in. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Clifton and George Nybert will be running the plays back and forth. Brandon for Fields listed at 187 pounds, and he looks bigger than that com oh. compared to these other numbers I'm looking here. Okay. Oh, I didn't catch that play, Gary. I'm... Looks like number one, number 81, Zach Gosser on the run. He's running out of the tailback position tonight. Third down and 11, Gary. Rusty or Randy James? Now you got me started. Randy, <laughs> Randy James can throw the football. Uh, I'd look for him, possibly the tight end, Chaz Stevens. To be a possible target for him. And we got a flag on the play. 
they were set up into more of a no, near, nearly a full house backfield there. A liquor procedure on the gold team. Now I was calling the wrong name anyway. I was calling Brandon Fields, and it was Nathan Clifton, but I was following your lead. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have uh, it's, between me and Doug, we have never made a mistake. So. <laughs> it's third and sixteen. James is on oh, naked bootlegger on the left hand side. <laughs> Jarek, oh, and he goes down hard. Number twelve, Jarek Abbott, and number sixty one, Stuart Allen over there. Stuart right. Allen. Gary, I've been watching these kids play every Sunday this past year, so I've gotten plenty used to quite a few of them. Uh, know him by name. Stuart by Allen number. used to be a running back and he's grown quite a bit. Now he's a lineman. So. And they collect the punt, so we're going to get about a, what, a 20 yard punt out of that? Yeah, it's a, what happens, Gary, is we don't, we don't play a punting game in the London Area Boys Football League. What we do is if you do choose to punt, we advance the ball 20 yards and give it to the other team. It, uh, we feel like that uh, the punting game is going to be at the next level at junior high and high school, and and uh, we're we're working on the fundamentals here, and that's that's the idea behind this program. And that's what's made London's program uh, start to show up so big. Cause we're getting a lot of good fundamental stuff come from this, and people don't realize that this is where it all starts. Is right here. The uh, main thing is let them have fun. Don't let them get burnt out. Oh yeah, it's a it's a four game season, and boy, these kids do have fun. They show up early, stay late. A little confusion on the green team now. Coley under center, hands Jeremy Long going around the left-hand side. Number 30, Dusty Redding out there on him. And he's run out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. Looks like number 68, George Nybert, and he covers a lot of ground from the defensive tackle position. George Nybert. He's another, he'll be going to Madison Plains. Yeah, I recognize that name. Yeah. So we're going to have second down and three. Maybe an opportunity for the green team here to maybe fire a quick pass. We're down to three minutes in the first quarter. Second we, and three, like we've I said. Already, we've already seen that, that Jed Coli can throw the football. He's no a run. keeper. And he's going to be close. I think he might have made it. It's like George Nybert on the tackle again. Oh, I made, made a quick keeper. He's seen an opening there and shot for it. I think they're going to move the chains. Oh, Up official timeout. It's going to be a major. Well, we got a little timeout here. All the players you see with two stripes on their helmets. <coughs> they're their, uh, what we call our, our bubbas. They're big kids. They play tackle to tackle. And the idea behind that is that, you know, we don't want a 200 and some pound kid out there running the football <laughs> and having a 60 pound defensive tackle trying to tackle. Like Tyree. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Tyree come out of this program. He was a bear yeah. in our program. Another, another noted bear is a former bear lineman, Zach Dobbenmeyer, who led Central District in passing this, this year as a right. quarterback. And he was a lineman in this Halloween Bowl program. It's really showing up big, like I said, in the high school programs. So, uh, if I could mention real quick, if we're out there on the officials, we've had three very dedicated officials this year: Shane Harding, Heath Robinson, who's a former player in our Halloween Bowl program, and Ralph Moore. They've been with us every Sunday. They're excellent with the kids, and just I can't say enough about the wonderful job they do. Looks like it's going to be third and an inch. Third and an inch, huh? Power eye formation. And they give it off to a little scat back. Wow. Abbott picks up a nice 11 yard gain there. This Jeremy can scoot, buddy. Once he, he gets that ball, fast. he's on the roll. Hits a hole quick. He hits a hole quick. <clears throat> and it takes me back to when uh, my son played in this league, my youngest son. And I was the backfield coach. And that's one thing we stressed was getting off on the count. And they had to stop the game one time because they were calling backfield in motion. That's what it was called at that time. Mm -hmm. To let them run a play to show them that our kids were getting off right on the right on the snap. Mm -hmm. Another power eye formation. It's like Coley's going to field out to the right. He just oh, runs over. 22 Svoboda. George Nybert on the tackle there. 
Sloboda, he, he stood his ground now, number 22, Sloboda. He did stand his ground good. He's only 65 pounds, but he didn't bit, back off. A little bit tougher when you got a 95 pound quarterback coming around the corner there. Yeah. <laughs> so you figure that's almost 200 pounds colliding there. Yep. And it was a collision. Runaway freight train. Second down and six here. Real quick, at halftime, we're going to get some of these cheerleaders on. That's That'd be great. We picked up to... a few of them at the beginning of the thing and got their cheers, but I hope you're going to announce their names and everything. Oh, yeah. That's Jerry Cabot over the left-hand side. He smothered after about a two-yard pickup. Gary, I'd like to see if we can pick out some of the linemen there for the <laughs> green team that are doing such a wonderful job. I think right tackle looks like Brandon Fields. Your right guard, I believe, is Justin Newsom. Uh, center is Kenneth White. I'll take that back. Um, on the green team. Center is probably Josh Newsom. And we pick Not up exactly the play. Sure. Will, Long Will Longstorff is playing left tackle. It's like a blitz from the gold team. That's Jeremy Long around the left-hand side. And he's he's going to be chased. running out of bounds. Oh, he turns the corner. That little Looks rascal. Like number 30, <laughs> Dustin Redding. Popped him out of bounds. <laughs> this habit runs like uh, Archie Griffith. I see where they uh, retired his number today. That's outstanding. I think that's a great move by the Ohio State University. It shows a lot of class on their part. That's the first number ever been retarded at, at their football program. And, and well deserving at that. Fourth and four here. Wide out to the left. Sets back. Oh, quick hand Jerry off Cabot to the left He's hand got side. some room. He's he does have some room. 81, Zach Goss. Makes a check back. He's gone. Touchdown. Number 12, Abbott. Jarek Abbott. This kid wow. sees the field well. He just knows where he's going and what he's doing. Is this going to be the Abbott? Uh, game instead of the Halloween Bowl. Yeah, Abbott. Jarek, Jarek Abbott's only 69 pounds. He's not very big, but I'll tell you what, he does run the football hard. Wow. Real quick note here, the first football game, Jarek's a new player to our program. He just started as a sixth grader. First football game he ever played in. He had four offensive touchdowns and one defensive touchdown. <laughs> This kid's a natural. <laughs> I talked to his father who was on the school board down here at Madison Plains. I said, boy, he's going to think this football game's easy. He might end up uh, moving to London. <laughs> <laughs> no pun Only intended. Only wish here, Gary. No Only pun intended. Wish. It's a pass out the left-hand side. And it's knocked down by... Broken up very nicely by number, number 40, 40 on the gold team. That'd be Randy James. Randy James on the defense there. So, at the end of the first quarter, we have a score of 12 to nothing. Green team on top. Very interesting, very quick. I don't know if Carl will pick up on some of the cheerleaders down there. They'll be working hard. We're trying to give equal time to the cheerleaders, but it's kind of hard since the other ones are a half mile across the field away from us. But they will be coming over here at halftime and doing well, some things. Well, I have a chance here in between quarters. We can't thank enough our sponsors to help out with our program. What it does, it keeps the cost down for these kids so that they can afford to play. It's $35 for each kid to be in the program. They get a mouthpiece, they get a jersey. Uh, that's not just tonight, that's a whole season full of football for them. And without our sponsors, it wouldn't be possible. So let me run down a small list of them real quick. American Legion Post number 105, Antico Industries, Byers Chrysler Plymouth, Cappy's Pizza, Church and Dwight, Citizens Bank, Creamer Metal Products, Creative Carpet, Dwyer Insurance Agency. We'll get back to them a little bit later. I don't know if Carl had a chance to pick up much on the crowd. I'd say we got a pretty decent crowd here. One of the people made the comment there was more people here tonight than there was for the Grandview uh, Madison Plains game <laughs> a couple weeks ago. So I guess that's a, uh, a real big thank you for the parents to come out tonight to support these kids because the parents make a huge difference in the success of this program. Well, see, you set them up, really. I'll, I'll elaborate on that in a minute. Gold team takes over. Got a quick oh, handoff. Oh, they got a fumble, fumble, loose ball, and I believe the. It's like the gold, gold team, team got back on it. it. 
That was number 77 laying a big hit on number 81, Zach Gosser. 77 is uh, Will, Will Lansdorf. Longsdorf. I'll tell you a story about Will and his brother Kyle here in a little bit. Gary. What was going to say about the parents? I was saying you say you got these people set up because you got an ample amount of cheerleaders. So that means that they automatically got parents from them coming. Yeah. And the ball players. So that's a very good move. But you know, the company got. It should be uh -oh. a rule. You Take gotta a support them. Look at here. Trips Take to the right here. side, to the near side here. Uh -oh, and we had. Possibly had some encro encroachment from the uh, green team. And that'd be offense. Well, they are going to call offside on the defense. Offside on defense. And one mistake I've seen, that play, I think might have been a mistake made there, was the quarterback went, on, went ahead and went through with the play. Now when they set up out there the next time, they're, they're going to know, know what's going to happen. The defense is going to know that. <laughs> well, they've only had three real practices to get ready for tonight. I, I don't think they're going to disguise a whole, much, a whole lot, Gary. But uh, as what you call smash mouth football, you know, you just you line it up and you run your play and there's yep. quarterback keeper. Same setup, quarterback keeper. And he Looks like he's close to a first down. Yep, I believe he is. He's on the line. Move the chain. If he's on the 50, that should be a first down because he know. started at the 40. Take a look at that 50. Yeah. Man. I'm saying to move the chain and see how, <laughs> well, see how tough these fishers are. The line might wiggle a little bit. I don't know how they can't call that a first down, oh, man, but I'm not the down ball, there on the strike. I, I can see the nose right on it. Uh, the ball's he's, in. He's going, they're going to measure it. Of course, you were talking about, oh, he's moved the ball. No, they, they're going to measure it. Well, the center moved the ball. Yeah, it's over now. <laughs> it's over now. Maybe that was a good <laughs> look, look, look at the official. He don't Kenneth know what to White. do because the center moved the ball. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they gave him the first down. Wow. Maybe they had given the first down and didn't move, just didn't move the chain. Uh, maybe that's a possibility there. Yeah. But the center made sure they got the first. That's a good move on. So who is that center? Let's be able to give him some that's, play here. That's uh, number 79, Kenneth White. If we can pick out some of the other linemen, right guard is 55, Zach Harrell. Uh-oh. It's like a quick handoff. Oh, oh. somebody made a number 77 on the wow. green team. Number 77, Will Longsdorf. Just and he hand. just done. Uh, he ran his tackle. Let's hope the That's ball carries not hurt. Zach Gosser. Let's oh, hope he's my. okay. A tremendous. That hit. looked like we saw a hit like that last night in the game. We're we're very fortunate this year to have a a paramedic out there, Jason Cunningham, who's an assistant coach on the Bears team, who uh, has been with us all year long, and he's down at the field making sure we've got a very safe environment for the kids to play. That's in. great. We don't want to. I think he just got the wind knocked out of him, Gary. I, Let's hope just, it is. I think he was. And as you said, you want to run down some more of your sponsors while we got this little break sure. here. Sure. Let's go ahead and catch some of them, Gary. Uh, Dwyer Brothers Hardware, Edward Jones Investments, Fairbrook Homes, Goodyear Chrysler Plymouth, Bob Hackett, Holland Builders, Huntington Bank, Jake and Joyce Froning. London Paint Plus, London Rotary Club, Maves Clothing and Sports, Madison County Hospital, Marie Parks, Nelson and Ball Plumbing and Heating, Tanner Matthewson and Hansgen, Wilson Printing and Graphics. And he just up and walks off under his own power. I'll tell you what. 81. Zach's, Zach's a tough little football player. I think we're going to see him back tonight. He, he got took a tough hit that time. I think he just got the wind knocked out of him, Gary. Hopefully he's going to be okay, and the crowd gives him a nice applause as he gets up. Well, you got to take a look at Zach. We're looking at 89-pounder. He's uh, right now, before he hits that weight room, he's just skin and bones. They'll pump him up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is he, in London? Is he for London or yeah, playing? Yeah, he's, he's from London. Do we have um, West Jeff in, in your program? Uh, we year? had one kid from West Jefferson last year, but we don't have any this year. And, We'd like to see if we get some more kids to play from that area. I think they put their own program together. Yes, they have a program where they play in Hilliard, but uh, they play ten games over there. Uh, we play four games here, so. And we got a delayed game against the wow. gold team. These officials are not playing, are they? And uh, coach wants to know what's going on. That's the head coach of the gold team out there, Joe Sexton, who's been with our program for 14 years. He does an excellent job with the kids. And the official who made the call is who? Uh, that's Shane Harding. Shane Harding. His, he, uh, his son. Son, Shane. Ran, Shane also, Junior. okay. Ran uh, track for London. He also played football. Yes, he did. A good athlete. 
Shane Sr. looks like he's about 25 years old. He looks like there. his son out there. We all know he's about 61. <laughs> But he stays in very good shape. He plays flag football for, uh -oh. one, of the, for one of the top oh, flag football well, we teams flag. in America. Same the exact same play was unfolding, but I tell you what, they had... Uh, these kids got the names on their backs too, don't they? Yeah, Gary, that's one special thing we have about the program is, is as a sixth grader, when you play in the Halloween Bowl, uh, the league buys you a jersey you get to and keep puts it. your name on it and you get to keep it. And we make them big enough that the kids can normally wear them for just about the rest of their life. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> and they know if they do, they're not going to get much bigger. They're looking at the size well, of some of these kids. Some of these kids could maybe wear them. Bend over while. top of their shoulder pads, but yeah. Uh, some, of, some of them do grow out of them, but at least they get to wear them for a couple years. And uh, One kind of interesting story tonight's the first time in the uh, history of the Halloween Bowl that we've worked, that we played green versus gold. Traditionally, it's red versus white, being that we're from the London program. Yeah. We have just as many kids playing from the Madison Plains area as we do from the London community, and we thought it'd only be special since we was down here at Madison Plains tonight. They've been gracious enough host to us that uh, play a little green versus gold. That's Try right. to uh, encourage a little bit of excitement for the football program down in the southern right. part of Madison County. And their football program right now is they're struggling. But they'll be back. But they usually come back and kick our tails in basketball. So. Well, I'll tell you what. Coach Porter took two of our top coaches out of the London Area Boys Football League and made them assistant coaches on his staff. So he obviously sees the connection of uh, good coaching and the teaching part of the program. Randy James back to pass. Oh, 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 oh and it's a fumble. Jamise, and it's recovered by... Jamise Richendaller, number 54, on a big hit on number 40, Randy James. And covering football is they call number that a fumble or 69. Pass. Looked like a well, fumble. Well, they called that a fumble. It looked like Green one. football. Number 54, Jameese Richendaller, who's been with our program for three years now. He's a good little football player. He has was, fun. I believe that was Aaron Reese uh, recovered the fumble that time. Number that? 69, I think. Aaron's father, Rob, helps coach the Lions in our program. Aaron, Aaron is a Madison Plains prospect. Do we have any London players out there? Oh, yeah. We got them. <laughs> we got them out there, Gary. <laughs> All I'm hearing is Madison Plains. Well, well so far, Jameese Rich and Dollar is a London fella. So. <laughs> Just Just kidding. Look forward to him in the next couple of years. The green team's going to have an opportunity here before the end of the second half to go out on top. Big. Normally this is dominated by defense, but uh, green team is on the move. Coley back to pass. He's, he's looking. got time. He's got looking around. He's he looking takes it on his own. Oh, he turns ball. the corner. He's got room, and he's he smart, ran, runs out of bounds. He, he runs for the first down That's stage. a college pro quarterback here. Get out of bounds. We Looks need like you. Looks like he might be a little short. But nice run by Jed Coley. He's he's a good athlete. He plays good defense, too. He's a great quarterback. I don't think we're going to see him on defense tonight, though. That's a pretty smart move. What I'm saying by that is he was looking the whole field over, looking for a receiver. He, he saw that 83 uh, Jacob Homily was covered out there, and and very smart to tuck the ball under and run. Shows good maturity for this for this age level. That's excellent maturity. That's great. Like we got Abbott in the slot. He's back to pass again. He's picked oh, off and he's got nothing but room. That's number 40, Randy James. Right. Randy James, see if you got enough. Catch him or not. <laughs> Had the an angle. Excellent play by number 40, Randy James. Randy James. He's a quarterback on offense and an excellent defensive back on defense. About a 30, 35 yard return there on that play. Wonderful play. Actually, I thought it was a nice throw by by Coley. Just happened. Randy James stepped up and a nice. The defense was played nice and diagnosed defensive. that all the way. Five minutes and 35 seconds left in the second quarter here. I think, do believe we're going to have an opportunity for the gold team to uh, showcase some of the talents here. Yeah, we score catch 12 to nothing, like you said. Some of their backs, number nine, Trevor Evans is the fullback. Uh, they're lined up in a, we got a like timeout. The green team's going to call time. Green, I believe. It's like number 88, Chaz Stevens had lined up at a tailback position and 44. Uh, Doug Swackhammer lined up at a tailback position also in, in a uh, slot setting.
I'd like to just announce, just so everybody knows, that uh, we do play four games uh, this year. Uh, we had an undefeated team. The Bears went four and zero. The Lions went three wins and one loss. That's outstanding. They've come back. That they, they went almost three years without winning a game, Gary. And uh, this group of Lions they had really worked hard and it was a good team. Redskins two and two, and the Panthers and the Eagles rounded out the league. And that's a good program. Um, are you able to switch any players anytime during the league? Well, Gary, what we do is we have a draft of all the new players at the beginning of the season, and uh, we, we line them up on teams, and normally kids are with with the a same team. team. Well, it's Swackhammer on the left-hand <laughs> side. Oh, and he man. has got hit by a gaggle, Woo! a host of tacklers that time. We do have kids that, that uh, we'd like to see the kids stay three years in the program, come in as a fourth grader, but we do have new fifth grade players and new sixth grade players. But we take the new kids and we put them into a draft. It's a blind draft. The coaches don't know who they are. Um, they just pick cards at a dinner meeting that we have, and they take the hand that they're dealt, so to speak. Okay. James under center. He's looping around the right hand side. Hey, oh, gets him nice little hole. Maybe picks up a yard or two. <coughs> we'll make it about uh, third and seven, third and six. Chaz Stevens, number 88 out there, blocking from the wide receiver position. That's a good thing we like to see at this level. The reason I asked that question was, you see, I seen a team had uh, 0 and 4. And the reason I was asking that is uh, I used to in basketball, I would set the teams together and we'd have a few scrimmages. And of course, the basketball is a lot different. And uh, if I seen a team was overloaded with too much talent, I'd switch the players around so they would have to go up against better talent, which only makes you better when you go up against oh, better yeah. talent. We oh, Randy James on the left hand side looks like it was a quick count. Nice run, but I think that's going to bring up a fourth down situation here. And I think we're in. Might be in four down territory. Yeah, actually, you get the ball in a 40 anyway. That, that's, a, that's another rule that we have, Gary. Once you've gotten inside the 40 yard line of the opposing team, you're not allowed to punt. Because then that way a team doesn't get pinned too far back into their own territory. So if you're at the 40, it would only go to the 20 on a punt. So they're in four down territory. And Randy James along over the right hand side behind Zach Harold. Strong move, and he may. It's going to be close. That's going to be close, Gary. Can't see where he's at. He's so small. First down. First First down. down. They pulled Shane it out. Hardy. Wow. <laughs> Did you see a little kick at number 40 that come up? <laughs> Randy James just shows he's a competitor. Wow. He's, a, he's, he's a good competitor and a good quarterback. He's a good team leader. They went over top of uh, number 78, Brandon Fields, and number 55, Zach Harold. Set back first pass James for the goal team. Pass. He's oh. caught in the backfield for a loss of about Ross, five yards. Number 11, Ross Fordyce back there making the tackle by the shoestrings. Nice job of keeping his head and shoulders in front of the in front of the quarterback. And I was watching his, uh, I couldn't see his eye, but I was watching his head movement. And he was looking all the time uh, trying to find a, a receiver open. Right. Wisely, he kept the ball. Unwisely, he didn't throw it out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> or away where it couldn't be caught by somebody else. Look at this all comes in Second time. and 14 with two minutes and 55 seconds left here in the second quarter. Looks like Swackhammer on the left hand oh, side. Made a nice move. Oh, wow. A little misdirection play and then of number, number 77, 77, Will Lonsdorf on the tackle. London to play. He made sure he was down. Will Will's going to be attending London, looks like. All right. There we go. Uh, we Will, got a London player. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Will and his brother Kyle came over to us this year from the Columbus program. They've been playing in Columbus. They've been living over there. Yeah. And they're in, they are in London now. And uh, yeah. Will's a sixth grader. His little brother Kyle's. He's 80 pounds, but he runs over top of the biggest kids out there. He's an excellent little football player, and so in Will. Randy James on the right-hand side. He makes a quick move, and he's Man. bought down quick. Got a hole closed up real quick by uh, number 77 Longsdorf. London. Oh. Longsdorf <laughs> points him out, and he spots him, and he <laughs> takes him down. We got a fourth and 15 now with 140 uh, under the two-minute mark. Will and his brother used to play a program in Columbus where they played double headers on some weekend days, wow. depending on how the schedule worked out. And uh, 
These kids have been schooled very well in the fundamentals. And what we have, a timeout? Looks like we're going to have a punt. Oh, okay. Got stuck in a 4th and 17 situation and decided the best thing to do is punt the football. Try to pin the green team back so they can... And how about that move? They put them, we were just talking about 20-yard line and get them within a foot of the 20-yard line. Yep. The uh, gold team's got an opportunity here to stop them, maybe go in at halftime and just be down 12 to 0, but uh, they got to deal with this Jarek Abbott. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the, little the speech, gold, sir. gold team does have some kids on there that can break some plays. Uh, Randy James is very quick at the quarterback position. Dustin Redding, number 30, very, very quick. They've got some kids that can break it. And they line up once again and wide out to the near side. Pro eye. Hand off to Abbott. Abbott. Wow. And he's bought down oh. quick by number like 68, George 68. Nybert again on the top. Nybert. Nybert. We've, we've called that name a few times. He comes oh. to play. He does come to play. That, it was last week. He, the other team put three guys on him blocking him, and he's still making tackles. Mm. He, uh, you can just tell he, he, he's a very mild-mannered kid, but, boy, he loves to play football. Understands he's a very good baseball player, too. Same situation, power eye. Got long back here at the tailback. It's a pitch. Uh oh, oh get the ball. Trouble. Got a loose ball. Uh oh, they got it. It's like Randy Damn. James, number 40. Yeah, they got a in 10. On the recovery. 51 seconds left here. The gold team may have an opportunity to take it in. I was watching number eight, Jed Coli, and he looked like he just standing there and just watched the ball. Can you pick it up? Uh, can't actually, run with, it. with the rules that we have, the uh, the non-striped players can advance a fumble. Uh -huh. So you can, on defense, they can pick it up and run. The striped players are not allowed to advance a fumble or an interception. Looks like we're going to run a trips formation to the right. Timeout. And we got a timeout. Green team. So goal, uh, goal team is sitting in a pretty good position here. We got 51 seconds to go in the first half. Real quick here, Gary, what we're going to have at halftime is each one of the uh, cheerleading squads is going to line up across the field. Uh, these are all the girls that are involved with the cheerleading. They start out very early in the summer choosing their teams. Uh, they have tryouts. They, they uh, work very hard all summer on their routines. and. And tonight we've got all the cheerleaders. Here. That's good. That's great. I hope when they bring them out, they'll bring them at least to the numbers of the 50. We're, we're going to try to get them come all the way Push. almost to the sidelines yeah. and get them on television. Uh, we've been working on this past couple of years. <laughs> I think maybe we might have it down this we year. We get better and better every year. But we'll be announcing the girls, and uh, halftime may take a little bit longer, but these girls deserve the recognition for all their hard work this year. Well, see, one thing we run into a lot of times is uh, adults don't want to take time for the kids, and it's great. You need to take time out and show the kids that you really care about what they're doing. You love them, and this way they'll be, grow up to be better kids. Oh, yeah. These, the cheerleading advisors are probably the hardest working bunch. And we would, like I a missed the play here. Penalty. Oh! Ooh. Number 21, Jeremy Long, come up and put a big hit on. Took about a... Number 11, Ross Fordyce, the... Uh, I think he's the cornerback on that side. Came up and made a nice play on number 40, Randy James. They're putting the ball back up to the spot. We have a penalty. That's a motion penalty, and I, I think that gets marked off here regardless. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Would like Coach to shout out some pleasant some. Uh... I can't say enough about the coaches we got in the program here, Gary. They. They work with the kids. I mean, they're practice three nights a week. Um, you know, it's a two-month season. They, a lot of them start even earlier than that with sign-ups and everything. And it's a great commitment on the part of those coaches. And we'll run down some of their names uh, a little bit later on. Maybe we see if we can get them on film here. 46 seconds left, first and 15. Two backs. 81's back in there, Zach Gossard. And he oh. goes nowhere. He's caught behind the line for a loss of it's about like two on, yards. On the tackle, number 54, Jamise Richendaller again. He's the one who recovered the or made the big hit on the fumble before. Jamise Richendaller. Timeout on the gold team. 
I got a chance here, Gary, to thank just a few more people because we can't say enough thanks to all the people that help us out with our program. Madison County Hospital and Madison Family Health Center set it up set it up this year. They will give all the kids a free physical at the beginning of the program. Can't be I'd like that. to make a special thanks to Dr. Stephen Richardson, Dr. Robinette Houston, and Dr. Chris Finley for their help and uh, making sure all these kids had a clean bill of health before we started them out in our football program. And that's excellent of those people to help us out with that. Madison County Hospital has been a big supporter of us, and uh, we appreciate all their help. That's one big thing there. Cause those physicals are very, you got to have that. There's no getting around, and they get expensive. Yeah, $15 a pop, and figure they handed out uh, almost 100 physicals. Uh, that's a $1,500 donation, and that's just wonderful for them to help us out like that. Randy James on a keeper around the right-hand side. Four dice is out there. He can't quite catch him. Wow. Hey. Oh, man. Another nice uh, host play. Of right number 77, Will Longsdorf. We're down to under 20 seconds here to go in the first half. The clock's running. He was in bounds. So. To throw the ball, they better hurry. If the gold team looks like they're going to call another timeout. How many timeouts did he get? Uh, I believe he get three and a half. I don't think it's in there. Okay. Eight seconds. Uh, real quick here, some of the places that allow us to use their facilities to practice, and we appreciate that, the City of London, London Public Schools, London Truck and Tractor, and Arbors at London. As our main announcer just got a phone call. The cellular phone just took over the world, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was radio, Gary. I'm not only the announcer, but I'm running this entire event tonight, and uh, it's I think taking it's a lot of coordination amongst everybody. But I tell you what, for everybody from Mark Slater, the athletic director at Madison Plains, to the uh, uh, the boosters here helping out in the concession stands, to the officials, to uh, all the the Madison Plains people, Tom Geyer, the voice of the Golden Eagles. I was down there working the game and all his staff, and it's just been wonderful here from everybody from Madison Plains. Yeah, they really reach out to the whole community, really. They're an asset to us, that's for sure. He's got one last chance here for the gold team. Got, got two receivers out to the left. James back to pass. He may have some time. He don't have much he time has at all. No time at all. And the time clock will run out. First half with the green team on top, 12 to nothing. Get the clock. Okay.
have the green team on top, 12 nothing. Gold team got a little mix up in the backfield. That's Swackhammer on left hand side. Nowhere to go there. Green team, very good penetration on the defensive line. Think about the play. Like maybe a little confusion on the gold team, but they're probably putting, they may have put in a couple plays at halftime. You never, just can't never tell in a type of a game like this. And looks nothing like, doing. Oh, it looked like it might have lost the ball. It could have been a takeaway. Yep, they just Green ball. Green takes over on the 35 yard line. Looks like maybe number 60 down there, Justin Newsom on the bottom of the pile. Well, Gary, the green team's got the ball at the gold 34-yard <laughs> line. And uh, let's see if their offense can sustain what they started in the first half. Coley back at Abbott off the left-hand side. Whoa! And he's That's number number 30, Dustin Redding, with a nice tackle there. Good for about six yards there, six or seven. Brings up uh, about second and three, I imagine. We don't keep statistics in our league, but... I'll tell you what, if number 12 out there, Jarek, Jarek Abbott has busted quite a few 50 and 60 yard touchdown runs this year. That's a long ways for them little short legs to go. In four games, he may have well rushed over 500 yards. He's a smart little ball player. Holy back, that's Abbott again over the left hand side. Wow. I like the way he looked, he found that hole. It's like number 48, Blake Gosser. Blake's been with our program for three years. He just keeps getting bigger and getting tougher all the time. <laughs> Blake Gosser. Six minutes and 12 seconds to go here in the uh, third quarter. Green team's driving. Third and one. Big play here. Coley over the back keeper. side. Cutting back. Coley's coming back wow. against the green. He'll pick up first down. Nice run there. Looked like 61, Tyler Styers in on the tackle. Number 55, Zachary Harold also in on the tackle. That'd be a first down for the green team. Oh. Got a split backfield formation with the slot out to the right. Coley's got a bootleg. Bootleg to the right side. He's, He's running hard. He's going to have it out in front of him. George Nybert's chasing him down. He got him. And Big Nybert makes the tackle. Not before he got gets inside the 10-yard line. Green team's looking for another score. Looks like we got an injured player down there. Okay, we're down. Okay, we're back rolling here. Big play, second and two. And we have we a flag. We got one. Well, we got so many First green people out here to the left. Uh oh, he oh, fumbled the ball on the carpet. Oh, they got it back. Oh, wow. Looks like one of the linemen got back on it. Yeah, yeah it was quick. I was trying to figure this out. They had um, three goal players out here. Like I thought they was on offense there for a minute. <laughs> Looked like that. See, they had trips to this the near side. Green team's got an opportunity here to almost put this game away here with another touchdown. Yeah, they're all coming out here this way again. Second and five, second goal from the five. What is It's number 21, Jeremy Long. <laughs> and he's in for the score. Jeremy Long, that's about, is that three for him? No, that, that's, that's, no, that's Jarek Abbott that Jarek had the Abbott first two touchdowns. First two. This is Jeremy Long. Um, number 21. Kind of hard to see the difference there, Gary. Uh, Size-wise. 69 pounds on Jarek Abbott and 75 pounds on Jeremy Long. So you can see that you don't have to be big to play good in this league. How many? Two or one? Looks like they're going to go for a one-point conversion here from the hash mark. If they want to go for two points, they'd go from the five-yard line. The split backfield, Coley back to pass. Oh! oh. Looks like a nice defensive play out there by number 52, 52. Dana Wood for the gold team. Go down. 4.53 to go in this third quarter. 18 and nothing. The green team strikes again. Gold team takes the kickoff, advances to go to the 40 yard line. Got a tight right formation. That's James on the quarterback. Keeper. Oh, my goodness. And he's bought down hard by number, number 77. Will Longsorf again with another big hit out of that green team. From London. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Editorial provided by our cameraman, Kyle King. <laughs> We've probably got one of the biggest coaches in uh, any league we've got down here in... Uh, oh, that's, that's Roy Kelly. He's Roy a first, Kelly. He's a first year. We'll have to start getting some of these coaches here in a little wow. bit. Roy's a first year coach with our program, and I'll tell you what, he's a gentle giant. The kids just love him. You're scared he's of ex him. excellent for this age group. <laughs> he's got an excellent demeanor for this age group of kids. Pitch back to number nine, Trevor Evans. Nothing doing. Nothing doing on that one. Looks like number 12, well. Jarek Abbott in there on the tackle. Well, Plays offense, scores touchdown. I think he was parking cars in the parking lot before we started tonight. <laughs> this Roy is uh, quite a uh, hunter, too. He's probably got a trophy just about any kind of animal you can think of. Really? His dad uh, is taxidermist. Really? I didn't I didn't know that about Roy. Yeah. Tell you what, we, we enjoy having him with our program, along with a lot of these coaches, and, we, and we'll get a, we'll try to pan down on them here in a little bit, maybe. Looks like quarterback, quarterback keeper. keeper out to the right. He got a little lucky. Nope, 77. 77. Wow. Slips to the, <coughs> through the pile. That name's been called a lot tonight. Long store. Mm. You know, Will looks awful big out there, but he's only what we call one stripe player. He only weighs 107 pounds. Wow. He, uh, he's got a little height on him. He's got a little height on him. He's not that thick. Yeah. He's oh. just a. Uh, a good solid football player. Not that player. thick, he's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Longsdorf, and we punt. We have a declared kick by the gold team. Fair uh, Once again, after a punt, 20 yard punt, I think they got out of that time. He's got, got some pretty good punts this side. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. I missed the play. Number 12 is on the Number 52 is on the tackle. Number 52 on the gold team. Jane, Dana Woods on the stop, and uh, I don't have a 52 on here, Carl. Well, maybe so. I'm on the wrong team. Yeah, Dana Wood. Second and 12. Pitch number 12, Jarek Abbott around the right-hand side. He's on the roll. He's got blockers. <laughs> Another he nice went airborne one. there a little bit. Uh, it's like about an eight-yard pickup there by number 12, Jarek Abbott. We're down to 226, and the green team is on a roll. They're leading right now, 18 to nothing. It's turned into a runaway. Do you miss Zeke Caldwell? He used to be one of your I'll tell you what, bigger Zeke, coaches. Zeke uh, left the program. Uh, right after I became involved with it four years ago, and and, and we got a Zeke, flag. Zeke was quite a role model for a lot of kids for a number of years. He sure was. And uh, quite a few of the kids playing on London right now, I'm sure, will have stories about Coach Caldwell. I'm and if sure. you don't believe it, just ask Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we are rolling with. That's quick handoff. It's got to be number 12, Jerry yeah. Abbott. He yeah. comes through there so quick, I'm not sure they can see him until he gets out and we're. Uh, I tell you, Gary, I can't <laughs> catch the number on him. But if I see a little fella heading zipping that quick, you know it's got to be him. Number 12, Jerry Abbott. I'm out. And we got a timeout. Injury. Injury timeout. I'm out there. Number 22 on the gold team. He comes off for his own power, Slaboba. He's back ready to roll again. Got another split backfield. Uh-oh, fumble. Fumble. Loose like ball. 52, Dana Wood on oh, it. Look at where he caught the ball. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice play by number 52, Dana Wood. He That's barely got it. So the gold team will take over. Gold team will take over. On the 40-yard line. It's ironic that that's where they start play anyway. Gold team comes up in uh, what's that formation they got there? It's that's a full a, house backfield, on it? Like a that's a nice little run there by that's almost <laughs> gotta be number number thirty, Dusty Redding. Dustin Redding would be my guess. But he I didn't want to go down, whoever it was. I can't that might have been peel him out of there. Oh, that's number forty two, Michael Wilman, I think. He's a first year player in our program. This year is a sixth grader and he's a hard runner. 
He come out limping. He's pulling on his ankle there. I got a little twisted ankle in that pile up there. Yeah. We want to make sure we don't slight any of these other kids that are playing in the program tonight. It's just kind of hard to get every kid's name on television. Um, these linemen are doing a great job. It's just kind of hard to catch all their names. That's 88 Chas Stevens, I Chas think. Chas Stevens. I think I, um, before you got up here, I ran, I gave a rundown of all the players. Well, they announced them all, too. Yeah. And I followed up right behind them with their size and weight and stuff like that so okay there will be their names will are mentioned in the program it's not that we don't you know these kids all deserve special recognition but unfortunately the ones running the ball a lot of times yeah, the making the tackles are the ones that we hear the names of the most trip receivers out to the right james is gonna uh -oh. oh that's reese out there chasing him There's he's gonna be smacked <laughs> man he saw number 21 that was Jeremy Long come up and number 77, Will Longsdorf, running from his linebacker position. Come a long way, way to make that there. play. And the last going. couple seconds of the third quarter here. Looks like we're going to end her up with the end of the third quarter with the green team ahead. 18, gold team zero. Zip. Here in the end of the third quarter, score green, 18, gold, zero. Stick around, there's a lot more football to be played, folks. Take a two-minute break. I think you got might have something you want to. Well, I'd just like to folks. give a special uh, thank you to some people that have worked very hard for this program. Our league commissioner Keith Hatem is over on the uh, far sidelines. Uh, he's he's our commissioner and uh, does an outstanding job with the kids. On to the play. Quick handoff to. Looks like Abbott. Abbott. He's got some right hand side. Nice. Hit on. Nice hard tackle there by, by number, number 40, 40, Randy James. Randy James. And you have some more people there. I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Greg King, who works with Edward D. Jones in town, your investment choice. Uh, it's not a commercial, but I just want to give him a plug. He's been a good help to our league this year. He's our treasurer. Jay Hoy couldn't be here tonight. He's with Creative Carpet and Interiors. He's our vice president, and on with the play. And then I'll tell you who the president is. Another handoff left-hand side. Left-hand side might have gotten close, pretty close to a first like, down that time. Maybe that was 20. Well, I couldn't quite catch 24. that. 24. 24 Scott Kroll for the green team. That's a new name. Yeah. I haven't heard that name much he tonight. Hadn't, he hadn't carried the ball much tonight. He normally had run up a tight end quite You know, bit. Jay Hoy is one of the... Um, Varsity coaches, isn't he? Yeah, Jay is. Well, that's Jay is good to have Jay's him down at this level. Coaches, and he helps out with our program on Sundays, and he's been a nice addition to it. Um, I'm the league president, Keith Smith, and I, I want to thank everybody out there that's helped make this program a, an outstanding success, not only tonight, but but all year long. I, I just can't name everybody enough. And, Where do you work, Keith? Uh, London Paint Plus, right there here in go. town. I, I think you own it, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm the owner of London Paint. <laughs> Might as well get your own plug in. Out there by, in the shopping center with Kroger's, all kinds of paint and wallpaper and there just kind go. of whatever you need. I'll be I'm there to help you, you out. It's Favorite third cheer. and one, is it? <laughs> Got a third and one on the 46 yard line. Looks like we're getting trying to get the chain set on get the, the far sideline over there before we start this play. 704 to go in the contest. 18 to nothing. Green team. Green team's so got, got a little blitz coming up here there. from the gold team. There's Abbott again. Yeah, Abbott. Right hand side. Oh, he's got it. He was oh. tripped up and grabbed. Brought down by number 68. That just Snyber. shows. Shows the speed of George Nybert there on defense, number 68. He was able to run down number 12, Jarek Abbott. We're talking 125 pounds running down a 69-pound kid. But can you <laughs> can you figure the difference in the length, the uh, amount of steps that the 69-pounder yeah. <laughs> has to take, according compared to what the George, Nybert has George to take? George's a good athlete, and he covers some ground. That ground. Let's not take anything away from Jarek Abbott because he's probably the kickest, quickest kid in the program. Mm. Oh, Coley's got a nice fake. There we go. <laughs> no, it was like he's running out of the circle out there, wasn't it, Carl? 
He had that ball in his hip, though. Wow. That shows a lot of maturity for this grade level. Yeah, I'd and the say. ball as big as he is. Yeah. How'd he hide it? Oh, looks like we have a holding on the green team. Holding gonna, on the green that's team. That's going to set him back a little bit. 633 is going to contest, and we're still. Speaking of getting plugs in, I'd like to uh, bring up our cohorts here before the night gets over. Our videographer, that's a big word. <laughs> that was Carl really King, big. who's so gracious to come out tonight and help us. And uh, my cohort here in the booth, Gary McNeil. And Gary, I thank you for everything you do for London sports and for all Madison County sports. We appreciate it very much. And we appreciate it. We just love to do it. It's no big deal. It's just something we want to do for the fan, for the people in the parents, grandparents who can't get out to stuff like this. They get to watch it on television. Been doing it for a few years, but that big name you put on Carl, I don't know, a video <laughs> for Harvard or something like that. He'll go home and look that one up. 6.20 to go in the fourth <laughs> quarter here. Oh, oh he's back to pass. Wow. Zach Harold making a run on him, and, and that could looks like he dumped it out to the side. I didn't see a receiver no out there. I don't know. No flag on the play. Apparently that must be okay, but I'm think normally that might be called ground. <laughs> and we got a timeout, huh? We got 30 minutes. Timeout. Green. Well, we got a timeout. You got some other people you want to thank here? Yeah, actually, well, we, we'll thank we everybody. Run down a few here. Um, for helping us out this year, I started on the uh, with the facilities for practice sites, City of London, London Public Schools, London Truck and Tractor, Dave Wheatley out there and the Arbors at London's allows us to use their facility to practice. Uh, photography by Peters Photography and Snap Photo. Printing services, Wilson Printing and Graphics. Insurance, which we do carry full insurance on all the kids in the program for everything they do on the field and the practices. Dwyer Insurance Agency, Bill Bethard. Cappy's Pizza comes down every Sunday and helps us out running concessions. We appreciate that. And also one more big thank you, and I can't say enough about the generosity of the people here at Madison Plains High School and Mark Slater, the athletic director. They've just been such gracious hosts this evening. All their staffs here helping run the booth and run the ball game. You're not going to find a finer, find a finer person than Mark Slater. I really appreciate what he does. Well, there's for Jarek program. Abbott again on the right hand move. side. Oh, He's look at George to... on him. George oh. is on him. <laughs> he was on him big time. <laughs> Abbott was looking, saying, uh, "How do I get away from this guy?" We keep calling out number 68, George Niber, but every Sunday down there on the uh, at Vaughn Kennel Field, where we play the uh, London Area Boys Football League games, he's just. Hard to contain on defense. I think you have a call on your phone there, pal. <laughs> Gonna sell some paint. That's a pretty good pickup there. Still got a third and four. They've run that place. Clock's running. Time. They've run it like you say they've had run that place quite a few times. Apple was on a roll. Wow. Oh, and they got to jump clean. Yeah. They're going between. Was, would you call that a blitz, the way they were coming through there? It wasn't the linebackers. It was the linemen, it looked like to me. Yeah, it's just grew them off. See if they got it. Illegal motion yep. against the green team. Yep. Real quick here, I don't know if we're going to have a chance to get maybe some of the coaches on film, Gary, but there are some people out there that have been big help to our program all year long. Uh, I don't know if we can span the uh, the gold sideline here, Carl. Well, we got a chance. How about after the next play, maybe? The next break in action. And we'll maybe try to pick up some of these coaches. And it makes it third and nine after a penalty. They were down to four. 5.08 to go in the contest. Green team on the move. Pulley hands off to Abbott around the right hand side. I don't right think Abbott side. was quite ready for that play. He was just standing there looking. Another like number started. 65, Matthew Riley on the tackle. He's got to be a tough little kid. It's as much uh, hits that he takes. Oh, I tell you what, he jump right back up. He plays hard. There's also number 55, Zachary Harold on there, and he'll we be going to Madison. Got a close up playing. of the coaches right here. If we can get them all in one shot there. Well, we got a break here. Let's see. Uh, uh, wearing the orange sleeve jacket there, uh, John Henry is one of our head coaches. 
Go big fella Roy Kelly, he's a big help in PC head coach there. Joe Sexton, uh, talking to his players. Joe's a big help to us. Uh, it's Travis Butts in the Blue Jacket. Travis is uh, one of our assistant coaches, been with us for two years. Um, I don't know if we can pull in coaches from the other side or not. Let me just cover a couple more here real quick. Uh, Jason Cunningham, uh, Mike Martin, Ben Gaston, and Tim Faulkner. And like I said, we just can't say enough about them. Maybe next break we can get a, a zoom in on the uh, green sidelines. While we were doing this, uh, do we have a penalty or a punt? Uh, my guess is it would that have been a punt. Oh, and you see the light arrows are one's facing one way, <laughs> one's facing the other way. I would guess it was a 20 yard punt. 20 yard punt, yeah, they, they've been pretty good. These punters are pretty good. Pretty consistent. Would like to see the gold team get on the board here tonight. I don't know if it's going to happen. The green team is playing excellent defense. They're playing really good defense. Let's see if we can pick up some of those defensive players out there. 73. Uh, Mike Zimmerman, uh, 61, Stuart Allen. We've heard his name called a couple times tonight. 76, Josh Newsom. Okay, we've got a little bit of time here. If we can zoom in on the sidelines. That looks like Clayton Burke over there in the background. Dusty Miller just out there on the field. He's been with us for a couple of years. They both had Spence Gibson there, his father, uh, Ron, and uh, Spence has been one of our head coaches. Uh, it's back to you there. Uh, looks like Randy Forson, who he's got some uh, stepsons in the league, I believe. Uh, Chris Clark. Oh, that's Randy Forson in the uh, number 45 there. That's Chris Clark in the black. Uh, he's been a uh, very good coach with us, head coach of the Redskins. Uh, it's like it could be Scott Powell there in a black shirt with a black cap, and I can't quite pick that up. And but. back to the action. Four twenty-three to go. Yellow team on the move. Second and nine. James Gold team. rolling out to the right-hand side. Move. Nowhere to go. Backwards. And wow. he's picked off for like uh, number 12, Jarek Abbott, coming up and making the tackle. Out of three or four yard loss there. This green team is not going to be denied. They are playing some really tough defense. The way we divide up the teams, Gary, is, is we take uh, two of the teams and put those two together. Tonight we had the uh, Redskins and the Lions on the same team. That's the green team, and then the uh, gold team is our league champion Bears and the Panthers, and then we divided up the Eagles team uh, to make the sides even. We had 20 kids on a side tonight. Actually, I think we ended up 21 on one side and 19 on the other. Does everybody have to play? And everybody's going to get to play in tonight's ball game, That's except good. for we do have two kids that are hurt. Injured, yeah. And I would like to mention Casey Harding, who's out here tonight helping us set up the field. Uh, he hurt his hand, and uh, also... Kyle Bush, who was an excellent little uh, tailback for the uh, Eagles this year, but uh, second, got to play in the first ball game and then broke his hand. Mm. So he had to set out the remainder of the season, but I'm sure you'll see him uh, in the future on some junior high field somewhere. You had a name for this, this game, other than the Halloween Bowl. Extended uh, something. I saw it in the... Oh. Well, we kind of call this our graduation party, yeah, if that's what you're talking party, about, yeah. Gary. It's, uh, it's just it somewhere in there. the sixth graders out of our program. You know, this is their night. I mean, this is their special night. It's also a special night for the cheerleaders, but, you know, the players, uh, you know, they they look forward to this ball game every year. So they'll be moving up to the next level, junior high. Next. I don't even know who the coaches are at junior high now since uh, uh, Mr. Actually, Cunningham left. at the end of the ball game tonight, we've had uh, Don Beatty, the head coach of the Madison, Madison Plains 7th grade team. Coley pitches back to Abbott around left-hand side. There's that Nybert again. <laughs> My I think Nybert's assignment is to, to follow Abbott wherever he goes. He's slipping away from his blockers somehow or other. Uh, Don Beatty, the head coach, Madison Plains 7th grade team, will be here tonight to meet after the ball game with the seventh grade, with the future seventh graders going to Madison Plains, and also here tonight the uh, seventh grade head coach from London, 
Middle School, Greg Huff, will be meeting with the kids. will be going into the London Middle School program. There so you go. That's a special thing for them to get to meet their coaches and uh, get a little pep talk from them, what they need to work on during the off season. Sounds good. And Greg Huff was coached down here last year. So now he's probably got mixed emotions a little bit. I know he won it in the London program last year because uh, he did graduate and play ball for London. And I think maybe, or maybe maybe Carl King might be able to tell us better since his son and Greg grew up together. But right. uh, Greg Huff probably come out of this program, I would think. All right, sir. Carl's not talking. We're down to 214. Our videographer thinks, yes, Video Huff did come out of our program. He just, yes. Yes, yes, he did. He and just blew his head up about three sizes, videographer. <laughs> And Don Beatty's been one of our head coaches for about, I don't know how many years Don's been at it. He uh, really participates in youth sports all over Madison County, not with football, but also with the Little League program down the mount in the uh, Sedalia area. So Don's excellent with the kids, and he's, he's moved from Pee Wee coach on to uh, the junior high program. Also in attendance tonight, I'll let you know, is the uh, Madison Plains head coach, uh, Dean Porter's here tonight. I did see him over there. Okay. He's setting up in the stands and with a couple of his assistant coaches. And we have a, what we got here, a penalty? Yeah. I'm not sure what happened here. Yeah. Second and about 16, a, 17. It's like a safety blitz maybe coming. And off to, <laughs> looks like long around the left hand side. That's 68. Well, it's 88. Chad Stevens on the tackle. Chad Stevens. Ni they called Niver's name. <laughs> yeah. Looks like 88 instead of 68. 88, like you said, would be Chad Stevens. So I don't know. We're down to 131. Time's getting away from the uh, gold team. Green team with the ball, they're on top, 18 to zip. Coley hands off to Long around the left hand side. He's got some room. Looks like he's going to be short of the first down, so looks like we're going to have fourth and maybe three or four yards here. I think they might have took him out of bounds. 68 again. Yep. Nybert. Nybert on the tackle. They'll probably get again. the defensive award for the night. <laughs> yeah, we we don't we don't hand out any <laughs> player of the game programs, but uh, I would think on defense, if you had to look at a player of the game, George Nybert possibly, and maybe number 77 on the green team, Longsdorf, and boy, you look at, you look back, you're gonna look back on this in a couple of years and remember the performance of number 12 right there, Jarek Abbott. Jarek Abbott. And also the performance of number eight, Jed Coley, the quarterback. I mean, this is truly a night to remember for these kids. It definitely is. And it's something that a lot of your parents need to get. If you don't get a copy off the TV, get a hold of us and, and uh, get a copy because this is something that you you, won't, you can't bring it back. Once it's gone, it's gone. So if you get a copy, get on, on the tape, something like that, uh, then you can look back 20 years from now and be amazed at <laughs> what you did. Maybe, what maybe one did. of these young fellows will uh, be in a someday, someday be in the National Football League and yeah. they'll look back upon this game film to uh, they remember when. Yeah, they might even use it for something to help them get into college. <laughs> wow. And we're lost like short, be short of the yard. first down, right. so it's going to turn over to the gold team on downs. So with one minute and three seconds left, the gold team's going to have one last chance shot at it. 143. One more quick rundown of the, the sponsors, and we can't thank them enough. Real quick, American Legion Post 105, Amtico, Byers Chrysler Plymouth, Cappy's Pizza, Church and Dwight, Citizens Bank, Creamer Metal Products, Creative Carpet, Dwyer Insurance Agency, Dwyer Brothers Hardware, Edward Jones Investments, Fairbrook Homes, Goodyear Chrysler Plymouth, Bob Hackett, Holland Builders, Huntington Bank, Jake and Joyce Froning, London Paint Plus, London Rotary Club, Mabes Clothing and Sports, Madison County Hospital, Marie Parks, Nelson and Ball Plumbing and Heating, Tanner, Tanner Matthewson and Hanesgen, 
Wilson Printing and Graphics. Very well. I'm glad to see uh, Froning's name on there. He's been a backer of every program at, from first grade on, or kindergarten on up ever since he's, he just left as a superintendent. And believe me, he will be missed. He was really a good superintendent. Jake served uh, on my board to, for the Junior Achievement Program here in Madison County. And, and uh, Jake was a valued board member and uh, I hope he stays around this community and stays involved. We miss him. We've got plenty of time. Okay. Go ahead and keep talking. And Carl says we've got plenty of time, so we'll keep it rolling. I guess we have to worry about overtime. Uh, Nuck score 18 nothing. don't look like. Would gold. be nice to see the gold team possibly uh, break one here. They're, they're going to... Try a little different formation there. They got to get a tight, tight end up on the line. It looks like the green team's in prevent. <laughs> Good shotgun snap. Uh -oh, Pass out. Going. Looks like I can't got tell. Got a couple yards. Going. He's going to be close to a first down. Number, number 77, Will Lonsdorf makes the tackle. He stays oh, in bounds. Pick up about eight yards that time. That's like a, that. Second and two. That's a shotgun snap. That's at this level is a pretty advanced uh, pass from the quarter from the center back to the quarterback. But looks like they're going to line up that way again. I couldn't tell who did catch that last pass. Now you got this number 77 barreling down on him. Same play, and he gets out of bounds. I think he gets out of bounds on that. 26 the clock. seconds. Gets the clock stopped. 26 seconds to go in the contest. The gold team's trying to go. Who we got back here? Uh, Greg King from Edward Greg Jones King. Investments just stopped in. He's one of our board members and uh, just up here helping out tonight. He's been running the 50-50 drawing and uh, he won it. Running the gate? No, he oh. was, he was running the program. <laughs> Here's the money. He's taking care of the money, just like he does every day at his job at Edward Jones. Brinks truck, and we got a flag. Flag on the play. Like the right-hand side of the line jumped off. Illegal motion. Looks like most of this crowd stuck around throughout the ball game tonight. Yeah, they probably better. The kids won't have a way to get home. Well, <laughs> Gary, you're right. That's one advantage of having this ball game out in the middle of the country. <laughs> Keep the people here. Keeps the parents around. Make sure they show up. Somebody's got to get the kids here. 19 seconds left to go, Gary. I, I really want to thank you guys again for helping us out and for doing this. Uh, these kids just love seeing themselves on TV. Um, parents love seeing themselves on TV. I mean, seeing the kids on TV. Yeah, we've already had some people ask us when it was going to be on, so like you did make the announcement. They did and announce. uh, he might want to announce it again before it's all over. To refresh their memory. And uh, we've got 19 seconds to go. You say we got plenty of time. Yeah, the end of this ball game's kind of dragged on. I. I, uh, yeah, this gold team is trying to come up with some kind of strategy to see if they can get on the board. Well, I bet Coach Sexton was probably out there draw, drawing a play, a play in the dirt. As he goes, yeah. Quarterback, he's got trips to the left. Quarterback's going to run to the right, trying to find some opening. No room there. Looks like, uh, Looks like we're going, well, we got a timeout. 73. Going play. we got a player down. Oh, he's getting that. 73 on the green team. Mike Zimmerman just made a nice tackle there. And when the coach goes out, all his cohorts go with him. Yeah. Those are actually <laughs> the, uh, those are some fifth grade players and, and one fourth grader that have been practicing with the uh, gold team this past week to get them prepared for tonight's ball game. So they kind of feel like they're part of the team, so we got them jerseys to, uh, not, not the game jerseys, but they, uh, Got them Bears, Bears jerseys the Bears to go jerseys. out there. And, yeah. And they felt like they've been part of this team all week. So They're not too small themselves. Well, number 50 there. I don't know if you caught him in the Bears jersey. That's, 62. That's Sean Kelly out there and Brad Beatty. They're, they're good kids. 
that Kelly's son? Yeah, that's coach? Roy's son. So. Yep, you can see the resemblance there. He's a he's a good fellow. Oh, James is back to pass. He's got a little bit of time. He's got, oh, he's listen, got, son, that's a loose. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened Swack there. Swack hammer number 44 out there. 44 went down quick. And number 80, Joshua Puckett out there on coverage for the green team. Did uh, Swack hammer slip and fall or what happened? I don't know if that was a dive or what, Gary. It looked like he was trying to make some type of attempt to come up with a football. Nine seconds. It's we're like down to nine Randy seconds. James, number 40, just got his play from his coach. And we're going to have one final play here, third and 13, unless it's a quick incompletion. You'll notice after the ball game, the kids will, as, as all good sports do, they will uh, line up and shake hands. And that will end the game. They're going to call an in oh, incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. We've got another play we can run. We're going to have fourth and 13 with three seconds left from the gold team 42-yard line. green team's defense has just been phenomenal. They've just been they uh, dominated this They have done. Normally defense does dominate these types of ball games. And... And, uh, and they have an offense and a defense to go with it. And yes, they, uh, they did have some good offensive players tonight. They made some great plays. So. It's like Green's lined up in a prevent defense. Got chips to the left side. James is back in shotgun formation. One last chance here. He's just going to make a run around the right hand side and try to find some open room. And they're not going to let him go. Oh, man. He decided to go down because he's seen a monster. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the coaches are getting doused over on the far sideline by the players. <laughs> As the celebration begins for the green team. Like I said, these kids all get to keep their jersey from tonight's contest. Nobody should hang their head low. An outstanding football game played by a couple of teams. And I think the team are going to, are they going to go down and ring the bell. No, actually, I think they're chasing after one of their coaches oh, there, trying to soak the him water down. But, uh, they need to they need to get back over here and shake hands. He can't run forever. And they're uh, they're coming back. They're coming <laughs> He's back. not going to get wet. <laughs> they know they know how important sportsmanship is at this level, and they know what and we'd make them run sprints if they uh, didn't come over and shake hands. <laughs> Uh, they were so excited and they were ready. They just they wanted to get the coach. Yeah. It's a yeah. big thing because they've been watching the high school and they got dog marked big time last night. Yeah. <laughs> One last chance to thank our officials tonight, Shane Harding, Ralph Moore, and Heath Robinson. They did an excellent job tonight again. Uh, as you can see, the sportsmanship going on right now is the teams and the cheerleaders and the coaches all the congratulate coaches. each other on an excellent night. This is a really big thing. This goes on every year. Let's keep it going. I notice Kelly's not moving too fast. Big Roy. He'll tell me about it. Chris said, Clark, the movie star. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, he was in my program in basketball. Okay, Zeke, don't start talking about your kids now. Okay? Uh, he was. <laughs> well, he wasn't very good. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Chris. I told you they was going to ring that bell. Green team's off to ring the victory bell. That's something we haven't heard down here at Madison Plains this year, but uh, it just shows how excited these kids are about, about this whole night and uh, what a wonderful evening it was for everybody. And it's been a great evening, and we go off as I usually do. This is Gary McNeil. This is Keith Smith. And I'm going to say see ya. And if you missed this, I wouldn't want to beat you. Good night. Good night. Adios. Take me home, Carl.